Hello, I'm Chris Crawford with Chris Crawford Knives, and I'm going to do a short video on my rotary table. This is a follow-up. I did one video already showing how I use the rotary table to relieve liners, slip joint liners. Um, but I mentioned in the video that I was going to show how I put this together, and so that's what this video is. It's kind of a follow-up just showing how uh, I made this fixture to go onto the rotary table so that I could do uh, relieve the liners on my slip joints. So here's the rotary table up close, and the way a rotary table works is you've got a little dial, and when you turn the dial, it rotates the table. And so um, what I made was this, this top block right here. Now I'm going to take this off and show you how I made it. Now on this block, you can see they've got uh, four bolts coming through. We've got this little pin right here, and you may remember this from the other video, but I've got a screw, and see that's loose already where I loosened that up but this is what holds my liner in place. So uh, you, can you can look at the other video to see more how this works, but basically it goes in here like this. This screw goes in, tightens it down so that it doesn't and just take everything out of here. All right, so there's the uh, pin and then there's that. We'll set that aside. Go ahead and get our screws, I mean our nuts off. All right, we'll take our little hold down piece off those washers and that allows us to take this piece off and you may have just seen that fall out. Let me grab something out of here. And so this, this is a little brass piece that I had inside this hole and I'll tell you what that's used for here in just a second. And then take my bolts out. And these right here, I'm going to have to rotate it. They were getting stopped by those pieces. There. And so this is how your rotary table comes. It comes just like this. And so this has little T-slots so that you can bolt things down. And, uh, and that's, that's how it's holding this plate on. Now, this plate right here is really just a block of steel. And I put this on the surface grinder and ground it down parallel. Um, you know, top to bottom, you want it parallel. You know, if this were raised and you were to rotate it, it would, it would rotate around like this and you're gonna cut a, um, you know, a, a higher spot on your, on your liners than on one side than you would on the other. But anyway, it's basically just a block of steel and you can see uh, I ground, I mean, I drilled four holes in it and I tried to drill those holes. I tried to measure on this and drill those holes and um, I drilled a hole in the center and so really that may be where you start. You might drill your hole in the center first and then try to drill, uh, you know, uh, uh, I guess holes that line up 90 degrees to the, to the hole in the center. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right, but you get the idea. Basically we got four big holes. We got the one in the center and then also I drilled this hole that runs all the way to the center and it's tapped. Okay. Now that's what this is for. So when I put this, hold down pin in like that and then I put this screw in well you can see the problem that my screw is not long enough to reach my hold down pin so even if I screw this screw in as tight as it would go man I am dropping everything find that in a minute there it is if I screw this uh, screw in as far as it would go it's still not going to reach that pin and so that's what I had this little brass rod basically this brass rod just acts as an extension and so it's inside the hole and then when I screw the, the screw in it pushes against the brass rod which pushes against the pin. So it just goes in there like that and then also that allows me not to have to tap my hole uh, too far and so hand, hand tighten this and you can see that's about as far as it goes in and you know that's secure and I would use the Allen wrench to tighten it up a little bit more. So we'll go ahead and take those out. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to get this uh, mounted. So you can go out and buy, uh, I don't know what you call them, T-screws, whatever, you know, that would go in there, but I made my own. So basically I just went down to the hardware store and I got some bolts that would fit inside these slots, okay? And so the heads fit in there. Now, one thing that I did have to do is the, the head fit in there 
but the um, the shaft was too big. So I put it on my little lathe and I turned it so that it'll go in here now. Get one around there. So it, it, it fits in like this and you can see you know where, where, where the cutaway is. And so I have a good fit. So it's, it's got a little wiggle to it, but when it, when it tightens down, it's uh, not a big deal. But anyway, that allows me to get it in there like that. And so I did four of them like that, one for each hole. Get them turned just right to get in there. Well, I think it may have that in the way. Let's just try it on this side. It's a little tight. All right, there we go. All right, so now we have these in there. Now, one thing you'll notice is, notice how much bigger these holes are. Notice how much bigger these holes are than the bolts. The reason for that is so I can put this on here and I have room to shift it around because what's going to be real important is that we get this hole centered so that when we, when we spin this, that hole does not you know, change its position. So this will make more sense we get this on here. Let me make sure I got it going the right way. So I'm just going to, first of all, I'll just get it on here like this. Now, to aid in seeing how this is going to work, I'm going to put... I'm going to take a couple of pins and I'm going to put one in my drill press here. All right. And so let me get that down where you can see it. Now, if I were to line this right up over that hole right there, so see it goes right down in that hole. But watch what happens because this is probably not centered. As I rotate, now it's not over the hole. All right. Moved it out of the way there. But as I rotate, it's not over the hole. So what we want to do is we want to get this uh, plate in a position so that when we roll it, it stays, the hole stays directly under our pin. So that's our goal here. So to start off, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm not, this is, I didn't mention this. This is basically just my hold down plate. That's just a piece of steel, cut a couple holes that I can slide over one end like this and um, put my piece in there and tighten it down and it holds it in place. So that's really all that is. This is cut away because my cutter so that I'll have room to rotate it and it just gives me a little extra room there. All right, now with our um, hardware in place, but with it, with it loose so that we can move it around, what we wanna do is kind of, you see we got movement this way and then we got movement this way. And so we kind of want to find where the center of this movement is and position our plate in that center, center just so we have room to work. And so that seems to be the center right there. Now using my uh, milling knobs, I guess you can say, I'm going to move the milling table. Now, I'm, not, I'm not talking about ro doing the rotary table. I'm talking about just my milling table. I'm going to do it until I get it over the hole get my pin directly over the hole. Now this is going to be a couple step process, but once I have it, um, you know, th this centered this way best I can, I've moved my table to get it over it. I'm going to go ahead and run this. And so this is a 332nd uh, rod. It's the same, same size as the hole. And I'm going to run that down in that hole and I'm going to run it almost to where the chuck is touching. Now the chuck's not touching. I've got a little bit of room Let's see, let me loosen these up a little bit. Raise this so you can see I, I got a little little room to, um, well, I thought I did. There, yeah, I got a little room to move it up and down and that kind of stuff. So, so yeah, you can see there. And so this is going to be a couple step process. What I'm going to do now is I, I'm starting off with my, you know, my little table at the top going this way going perpendicular to the, the slide of the, the milling table. And I'm going to spin this 180 degrees. And the idea here is that by doing this 180 degrees, we're pr I'm pretty much self-centering the table. <clears throat> so I said 180, we're going to do it 360. We're going to do this all the way around. And get this all the way around. 
and it should be self-centered. Now one thing I meant to do is I meant to kind of move it a little bit. Let's do that again. So I'm going to go 90 degrees and, and it may be that it's pulling on the, on the pin a little bit. And that's why I want to do this. Go, go 90 degrees and kind of lift it up. Let it reset a little bit. Go 90 more degrees. Cause this block's so heavy. It's just not, I don't think it's just going to slide on its own, but come around here like this. And that way, if it, if it is put, putting any tension, like if it's, it's pulling on the pin, uh, this kind of relieves the tension. So it was a little tight right there, but, but now we've done that um, every 90 degrees. And so theoretically, what we should be able to do is we should be able to raise this, spin the table, and that pin is gonna be right over that hole everywhere we do it. Now, and it's probably not gonna happen like that, all right, so there it is, pin goes in. So let's rotate it 90 degrees. Well, let's just go ahead and rotate 180, and then we're gonna see where we are. And it's, it's gonna be close, it's not gonna be exact. Theoretically, it should be exact, but it just somehow don't work like that. And so you can see we're off just a little bit there. Now, this is where we're gonna do our fine adjustment. So what I'm gonna do is, because I rotated this 180 degrees, I can see that my hole is a little, it's down a little bit and it's to the left a little bit of my pen. So I'm gonna come on this side where when I'm looking at it, I don't know if this is gonna explain well on camera, but I'm gonna come where when I'm looking at it, it is kinda of lined up with my hole. So I'm looking at it from the side, from this direction. And I'm gonna shift this table half the distance between my pen and that hole. Okay, so I wanna go, from wherever my pin is to that hole, half the distance. Half the distance to the center. And so it looks like maybe about right there. Maybe a little more. All right, and so now I'm gonna take my, the, um, I'm gonna move my, my table, my milling table and I'm gonna get that lined up to the hole. And then we're gonna go through this again. So I'm gonna do it 180 degrees and I'm gonna see if I am directly over the hole. If not, I'm gonna go half the distance, shift it half the distance. Okay, so there's 180 and I am right on the edge of the hole. So it looks like I need to shift, let's see, well, I kind of did it when I went down a little bit too far. It shifted a little bit, but that may be actually what I need. So I'm going to adjust my table, get everything back centered, come up, do another 180 degrees. And come down. And it looks like that's it. So very carefully, I'm gonna hold this table in place. Get a couple of these bolts tightened. Now I'm only tightening these back ends. I'm not really worried about tightening. You get those tight, it ain't gonna move. These right here, I can leave loose because that's where I'm gonna you know, slide the, the handle under. So I apologize for getting my hand in the way, but yeah, so you know, I can leave those loose because these right here are gonna be tight. But let me check it again. I had to pick something up off the floor. So we're right over the hole right there. Go 180 degrees. And we're right over the hole. So that is perfect. That may even have been better than it was to start with. All right, well, that's it. That's how I made the little top part that goes on my rotary table to hold my liners down. Yeah, it's not a hard build. The, of course, as you can see, the most tedious thing is making sure that the hole uh, is centered. And it's not so much that you're gonna come down and, and be right over that hole. Really, actually, when you start cutting, you can refer to the other video, when you start cutting, you're gonna be off center uh, with your cutter, but you're gonna want it to rotate and cut a even, um, hole or, or, or a, you want the cutout to be even 
as it goes all the way as it rotates around your pivot. And so that's, the, that's why it's so important that your pivot hole does not move from center when, when this table is being rotated. And so uh, that's critical. Also, the other critical part is just making sure that your, your block that you're using is, is parallel, that it's, it's flat, you know, the top's parallel to the bottom. Uh, outside of that, drill you some big holes, you know, get you some, some cheap uh, bolts and modify them however you need to, and then you'll be able to put it together. So hopefully this helps, and uh, thanks.